Hello, my name is Dimitri and I'm an app developer at WebAction. In this video I would like to show how sample ATM app works within WebAction stream platform. WebAction platform gives you an ability to process complex events in real time, correlate multiple data sources using a SQL-like language and deploy them in scalable environment. ATM application uses a combination of predictive analytics and rules based on knowledge of data to alert ATM technician about a possible machine outage. It does it by monitoring key ATM components, CPU, printer, card reader, and temperature. The application also reads data about ATM transactions and historical data about its behavior in the past. Uh, ATM application utilizes end-to-end -end feature set of web action platform, including reading stream data via many adapters such as CSV or XML, JSON or CDC, event processing engine, analytical library, and then simple deployment model and user interface. Specifically for this uh, application, my approach has been to collect data for three sources, issues, history, real-time trans transactions performed on each ATM, that would comprise of ID, time, and amount spent, and component matrix, ID, time, and value of uh, uh, reported by the component. It would then train model in real time on interval of last um, 20 minutes of data and then generate linear coefficients that show trend for each ATM component. It will then run an application on current data and predict component status trends using generated coefficients in real time. At the same time, it will find out if a uh, number of transactions qualifies the ATM activity traffic to be uh, hot, warm, or cold, and then it will intersect the findings and send alerts to user interface. Uh, UI consists of three pages. Summary that shows overview of all locations being monitored. So in here you can see that we're monitoring five locations and 21 ATMs. Uh, 20 of them are cold, one is warm, there are no hot. And then you can see most critical component status predictions for the next 20 minutes and then components overall status and then details in the table on the right. And then on the left you can see a map with locations. So there's location uh, all the way in Alaska and then in central United States and their statuses are changing in real time. If you hover over one of them you can see it's ATM IDs in this case 64. It's in Tucson, Arizona and it has uh, critical uh, or warm uh, in this case everything is normal so a second ago it had a uh, critical temperature now it's critical again but of whatever reason uh, after that if you click into, into location summary you will see all ATMs for this location in this, in this case this is in Tucson again Arizona this is where it is you can zoom in into this location and see where exactly it's located and then you can click down to view the uh, component details and then hourly activity details for this specific ATM. In this picture you can see uh, CPU and then predictions for CPU in the next 20 minutes and then um, printer component. This uh, user interface doesn't show the other two components, but it's not necessary for this exercise. So uh, on, the, on the right, you can see totals and then transaction counts. Uh, so by using the same approach, it would be easy to modify the app to monitor another type of device, such as slot machines. So in conclusion, I would like to say that WebAction provides a great end-to-end -end application platform that is easy to install. It's uh, either unzip or untar and then just start. And then each node will just, each additional node will just join the cluster and that allow, it will allow scalability out of the box. 
and then uh, it's easy to implement applications with the simple declarative SQL-like language and it's also easy to reuse or modify the app to repurpose it uh, for some other usage.